<laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm here with the 97F250 HC again. Um, having a little problem. Um, I know what it is. I got the parts right here. But um, I just wanted to show you in, uh, in case anyone didn't already know what this was. So what you'll get is... Uh, what you'll get here is sound... It sounds like the injector's misfiring. Which, technically it is because... It ain't getting power to it or whatever. So let's just crank it over and let you hear what it sounds like. And it, it just doesn't want to crank sometimes, neither. And you'll have real bad shaking throughout the truck. If you look at the shifter, I'll try to hold that still. It's rattling all over the place. So, yeah, it just doesn't sound right. You'll have no power, and if you throw it in second and try to take off like I normally do, you're not going to go anywhere. It's going to stall out, so, unless you're real careful with it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we got underneath there and uh, fix the problem. All right, so, there's the old connector. Pretty much shot. Corners are all eaten up. The seals are pretty bad. Yeah, so, there's the new one right there, a lot better, uh, just got one more to do, and we'll fire it up and see how she sounds, but yeah, fairly sure that that was the problem, we'll see. So, I went ahead and replaced the two connectors on the passenger side, um, and it didn't fix the problem, even though that those connectors were, as you saw, were shot. So we're going to go ahead and go over to this side, replace the two connectors on that side. I got them right here. Going to splice them in. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to rip the valve cover off and put this new gasket on. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to do the same for that side and get a new gasket to go on there. Also, I'm putting dielectric grease in these fittings to lock out the moisture so I don't have to do this again. So I'll be back when I'm wiring up those connectors. <clears throat> so here we are. First thing you're going to want to do is take these <clears throat> three fasteners off there, there, and there to get this cover off. That way you have access to the connectors down here and back here. For this one, you're probably going to need to take off the whole um, intake tube. So yeah, I'm going to do that. As you can see, I replaced the ones on this side. Those look fine. I'm also going to take those off and put some dielectric grease in them. So yeah, I'll be back when this is all torn apart. Alright, so got all that crap off. I forgot you're gonna need to take out two 10 millimeter bolts for this bracket right here. Um, yeah, so flathead and 10 millimeter bolt should get you. Um, I'm gonna take that clip off and this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some uh, new connectors on them. I'll be back when that's all done and said, yeah, switch that, reverse it. I got the connectors on. As you can see, here's the old ones. These ones aren't as chewed up as the other ones, but still, you know, they're pretty grungy. So, we're gonna plug these in, or so I thought. Um, see, the problem here is that those will not plug into those head gaskets. Not head gaskets, you know, valve cover gaskets. So, I'm going to, uh, have to replace it anyway and as you can see might as well because there's a freaking wire hanging out there that I missed last time so I'm gonna rip that off um, these are I believe uh, I don't know I want to say they're 13 or 12 I think they're I think they're 12 millimeter but we'll find out and I'll be right back so the problem continues Still shaking like crazy even after I put the new gasket in so now let me tell you what I forgot to show you guys just now but I'll explain it to you what we got going on so what I did today is I put 
a new gasket on this side and splice two new connectors in so that side's all good. Got rid of those old grungy connectors. As you saw before, the old ones were on this side were even worse. So now what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is that this connector here is bad. Now let me tell you why. I had the engine running a minute ago, as you heard, and uh, when I came up in here and started screwing around with it, I unplugged this back one and the situation got worse. So I plugged it back in. I unplugged this one, and as you can see, it's pretty loose in there. The connector itself is fine, because I this is new. These two are both new. So... This gasket, I think, is messed up. I'm going to take the cover. <sighs> Screw it. I'm going to go buy another one and just redo redo both. Take this side off and <sighs> get rid of it. You know, it's a pain in the butt. So I'm going to get two new connectors and hopefully... I can figure out which wires are supposed to go to which wire so I can know because I don't know I think I messed up on one of these wires I might have I don't know I'll find out all right I'll be uh, I'll be doing this all over again so I'll come back when this is all all done I'm gonna take a break for a little bit here we're back with the valve cover off so I didn't need to get a new valve cover gasket but I will in the future because not because of this uh, connection here but um because the glow plug wire that I noticed was a little frayed back here but um yeah so the problem was that there was a bent pin in this connection right here and it wasn't getting through I took this off and checked the continuity of this whole wiring system and it's good um, I plugged it all back up together and was fiddling with it and I got to work so I mean in the future I'm gonna take all this crap apart because this is just temporary butt connectors and all so I'm gonna get rid of all this put some more heat shrink I'm gonna heat shrink these and solder them instead but for now yeah I'm just gonna put all this back together it runs good I'll give you a video showing you what it sounds like after we're done got the valve cover back on and everything in the future, I'm probably going to be replacing this solenoid too, which is the glow plug controller solenoid. So, um, yeah, get a new one of those. But for right now, I'm going to tuck all this back away and, yeah, call it a day because I'm pretty tired of this. This problem's been giving me hell for two and a half days now. All right, we're back. I solved the problem. And, yeah, well, let's, let's hear it. Make sure it works. Let's do it. Oh, we don't have the keys in the ignition. All right, here we go. Way smoother, as you can see. It's not shaking nearly as bad. That's just normal engine running. Before it was like all over the place. Truck stable. Let's go out front and hear it. Good, good shit. There you go. Way more stable, way better. Way better. Got power back now. Don't have to take off in first gear. Throw that thing right in second. And woo! Okay. Very happy, very happy. Alright, thank you guys. Um, any questions, just ask them in the comments below. Have a great day.